All right, so a lot of people are asking me how I'm getting the performance I'm getting, and I'm gonna show you. It's um, it's not just a one button fix that just gives you all the performance and unlocks God tier. You kind of have to tinker with this. You have to tune windows, get rid of a lot of the background services, and you basically have to kind of keep an eye on what's going on. The next part is a custom fan curve. This will keep your temps down and stop it from thermal throttling. You click on manual mode. I like to use mine plugged in. This should work while it's not, but your experience may vary. Slide all these to the right. That'll give you the most power. Start this one up here at the top at 80 and then down at 30. And then you basically just kind of match these right here. You can do the same for that. They don't have to be exact, just close enough. That way your fans max out at 80C at 100 right here. And how I got to that is I click the ROG Ally software and I go into operating mode. The next tip is the AMD performance overlay. Here's the stock performance overlay. It gives you basic information, but it doesn't tell you how much RAM you're using. Um, and the reason that's important is because if you look here, this is a finely tuned system and it's using about 29 to 30% of my RAM just sitting idle. People say 16 gigs is enough, but it's actually not 16 gigs. You've actually only got 11.7 gigs because your GPU is using four gigs from your RAM. So the issue with that is Windows, even if you close out everything here, okay, I don't have anything running. That's just my Wi-Fi and the battery stuff. Nothing's running. But all this stuff is. This is all these little armor to create programs, Asus, look at this, about a hundred different Asus programs. And they're not actually running. They're just in the background services that start up with your computer. Most of these are the ones that you can't disable. The ones that you can disable, I've shown previously in a live video. I'll make a whole nother video on that later. But right now, I'm just trying to get people kind of aware of the situation. So when I pull up Modern Warfare or Forza or any game right here, this number is going to max out to almost 100 sometimes. Depends on the map, depends on what I'm doing, but it'll go between 85% and 100%. And you'll start to notice performance issues with a little bit of stuttering and so on. Especially if you're listening to music or doing anything in the background. and Or if you don't have your system tuned. Before I tuned my system, that was constantly at 100. The second thing is this AMD metrics overlay. This AMD program is built in. You click this enabled option right here and it will give you a much more detailed overlay. It'll show you how much RAM you're using and how much VRAM you're using. So when you pull up a game, you can actually see if it's running out of VRAM or not, and you can tune your settings accordingly. Because if you're using too much VRAM, you're gonna have an issue as well. If you're using too much RAM, you're gonna have an issue as well. So with that in mind, these temps, I keep around 75 to 85 C consistent temps. My RAM utilization is still pretty high, but there's not much you can do about that. FPS, I'm getting about 100 FPS in Modern Warfare at 1080p, and I can share my settings if you'd like. That's pretty much it. Keep an eye on the RAM, keep an eye on your temps. There's different programs you can use to de-bloat it, like Bloaty Nosy, This is Windows 11, Ultimate Windows Tweaker, just be careful what you're doing in there. Um, if you'd like to refer to my live, I can show you how to do it. But there's just kind of like a lot of annoyances that this can remove and it can help speed up. It can help with a lot of privacy settings. And you can also go into that this is Windows 11 and you can disable a lot of services. I also use a program called Glary Utilities. And Glary Utilities will allow you to better see application services that are starting up in the background. You can see I've already disabled a bunch. You can look at window services and you can see I've disabled a bunch. And then you can go to startup programs and you can see I've disabled everything. So just because you disable all the startup programs doesn't mean that you don't have two million different things starting up in the background. And when people start installing game launchers like GOG and Steam and um, Epic and all that, they have services that run in the background as well. And all that stuff ties up RAM and CPU. So the more you use your device, the more games you put on there, the slower it's gonna get. 
They really should have put 32 gigs in here. I know it's arguable, but it is what it is when you're sharing RAM from your, I mean, when you're sharing VRAM from your actual RAM. So I really think that people need to get in here, tune this up. You'll see a lot better um, performance and it'll make the device run so much better. I hope this helps. I'm sorry it wasn't a very formal video. If it helped you, drop me a like. If you have questions, leave it below. Definitely hope this helps someone, and uh, y'all have a good one.